Welcome back to the Man United fan stand. It is now your Wolves versus Manchester United live preview. So, how interesting is this game going to be? I reckon we're going to be entertained as Manchester United fans. But can Manchester United win this game against Wolves? This is That is the main question. Because we've been struggling against them away. Um, and in my opinion, this is going to be... Um, it, it's another tough test, no matter what. It is another tough test for Manchester United to go and improve ourselves. Right now, I've, I've said before, right now, I think it's just all about the three points, not really scoring the goals and just being top. I mean, look, after all, we... After all, we do want to be tra challenging for the title. But right now, at, at this point in the season, with look, look, this is our second game. We just need um, uh, the three points. So we need to take six points out of it. So far, they've got one point. We've got three points coming out of our last game against Chelsea, which was class. And in my opinion, look, a 4-0 win against Chelsea, hopefully that win will give us a lot of confidence going into this game. I am quite confident um, about this game. Also, there is a watch-along uh, for it. Uh, half seven starts at half an hour before kickoff, so that's just a quick reminder. So, yeah, but look, in my opinion, this is going to be a really interesting game for Manchester United. Daniel James will be interesting to see if he can make a start. Aaron Wan-Bissaka, I reckon, I reckon, will start. I reckon Rafa will get a goal for Manchester United. Because against Chelsea, he almost got a hat-trick. He was on fire in that game. Paul Pogba played really well. So hopefully we can take... Um, I mean, you know, obviously there has to be improvement. So hopefully, um, look, look, we... Uh, see an improvement today uh, because today look we can't just sit back and say this is an easy game this is a tough game against Wolves and I and I think look the players should know that of that they should know that because after what happened against them last season look we didn't beat them whatsoever we didn't beat them at home and we didn't beat them twice away because uh, we lost 2-1 in the FA Cup 2-0 no in the lead to them that was both away so Look, we need to now be bucking up our ideas and we need to play how Manchester United should. Because we're Manchester United, we need to be uh, playing attacking football. Um, I think what we need to do is, because look, we play just really fast counter-attacking football. In a way, it's good because we can catch some teams out on the break. Um, and, and that's exactly what we did well against Chelsea and we were really clinical we need to be clinical again we can't just suddenly stop we need to be clinical going into this game and we need to be ready we need to uh, go in full speed ahead to, um, into this game this is going to be really interesting for Manchester United uh, to test us see what we can do but it's not a test game to be there muck around with the ball it's a game where we need to be on form and we need to play like Manchester United so in my opinion this is probably going to be an interesting game this is going to be a really hard game against Wolves um, but you know it's going to be interesting hopefully Daniel James can get the start because I reckon Daniel James is a player with potential Pope has got potential in him David De Gea is captain uh, for United it's looking like and and uh, but in my opinion I really like David De Gea um, but I, I think we should give it to Paul Pope because I think he's a leading player it will give him the boost of confidence and I think he will lead the team well and it will definitely affect his performance Paul Popper is probably a really key player Sanchez could start because he is returning um, will Alexis Sanchez start put it, everyone put it down in the comment section below because I reckon he'll he I, I, I reckon he will start him or Daniel James today so yeah it's, it's all going to be interesting but yeah anyway thanks for watching if you're the Man United fan stand speak to you all in the watch along later Anyway, thanks for watching.